Hi everyone, welcome to Dentist and topic for today's video is functions of pulp. To understand that we need to go to composition of pulp as it contains cells, blood vessels, nerves, cells like odontoblast, fibroblast, undifferentiated mesenchymal cells, defense cells. Why these so many cells, blood vessels and nerves are there in the pulp? To serve some function. So yes, if you can remember the composition of pulp, you can easily remember the functions of the pulp. Let's see how. Before starting the video, quickly subscribe to Dentist and abhi tak nahi kiya to jaldi se kar do and also give a like to this video. Now the first function of the pulp is not related to its composition that is related to tooth development yes if you can remember this diagram from tooth development from bud stage here we have two important tissues that is epithelial tissue and ectomesenchymal tissue that is below epithelium so what happens here there is interaction between the epithelial and ectomesenchymal tissue where the ectomesenchymal tissue gives signal to the epithelial tissue that is it induces the epithelial tissue to proliferate to form dental lamina which further leads to formation of enamel organ as you can see here so what is the role of pulp here pulp forms from dental papilla which is coming from ectomesenchyme so indirectly pulp has an inductive role on epithelium so that is the first role of the first function of this tissue that is inductive effect on the epithelium so primary role of this tissue is to interact with the oral epithelial cells that leads to differentiation of dental lamina and formation of enamel organ now this interaction also helps in determination of tooth morphology so that is the first role inductive role of pulp now coming to the second function that is related to the cells called odontoblast cells so these odontoblast cells they are present in the pulp they lay down dentin so odontoblast cells they form dentin and during formation of dentin their process odontoblastic process goes inside the dentinal tubules so this process also helps in formation of the dentin inside the dentinal tubules so that is the second function that is formative formation of dentin that happens by odontoblast cells so odontoblast cell produces dentin and and this dentin surrounds and protects the pulp from all sides now what it produces it produces the organic matrix of dentin and also takes part in the calcification of dentin now what is the role of odontoblastic process it also helps in the dentin formation along, along the dentinal tubule wall here and at the pulp predentin front here so that is the second role formative role now coming to the fibroblast fibroblast also helps in the formation of collagen fibers of the pulp now coming to the third role that is nutritive that is related to blood vessels what will blood vessels do they will provide nutrition now this nutrition is provided to the dentin along through the cells of odontoblast cells and odontoblastic processes as we can see here blood vessels go there so it nourishes dentin through odontoblast and odontoblastic process by the vascular system which is present in the pulp so that is the third function nutritive function now the fourth function is related to nerves what are nerves doing they help in the protection and sensory function so whenever there is pain perception by the nerves that protects us so immune cells are also protects from injury now sensory nerve helps in the pain perception the pain is felt whenever there is heat cold pressure operative cutting procedures during any cavity cutting chemical so all these things can can lead to the perception of pain by the sensory nerves present in the pulp also there are sympathetic nerves which control circulation in the pulp as they stimulate the muscles of the blood vessels in the pulp so that is the protective or sensory function of the pulp now coming to the last function what can you see here there is formation of reparative dentin now this dentin can form whenever there is any injury by caries trauma so what will happen odontoblast cell if it dies new cells will be formed from the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells of the pulp and they help in the formation of reparative dentin so that is the important role fifth role that is defensive or reparative now defensive function also comes through defensive cells which are present in the pulp that is macrophages mast cells plasma cells lymphocytes neutrophils monocytes all these cells they help in the repair process and repair process whenever there is any irritation thermal bacterial caries chemical so that help by the formation of reparative dentin function there again also be formation of sclerotic dentin when odontoblast cells are still there they can seal the dentinal tubules like green that is calcification of the dentinal tubules can happen by the odontoblast cells and that is called sclerotic dentin so that that is the fifth function defensive or reparative function summary of the functions of the pulp so we have five roles that is inductive formative nutritive protective or sensory and defensive or reparative so inductive role is related to 
that it helps in the differentiation of dental amina and enamel organ formation and determination of tooth morphology now second function is formative that is related to odontoblast cells these cells help in the formation of dentin they produce dentin third is related to blood vessels that is these blood vessels nourishes dentin now fourth function is related to the nerves so sensory function that or protective function that is the nerves protect the pulp from injury pain perception is there and they also control blood circulation now the fifth function is defensive or reparative so defense cells are there reparative dentin is formed with the help of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells sclerotic dentin can also form with the help of odontoblast cells so those are the five functions of this so if you can remember what is there in the pulp you can remember all these functions now let's check what have you learned so i'm giving you a diagram and you have to tell what function of pulp is related to that diagram so ecto mesenchymal cells so the, what do they tell you what is the first function of the pulp related to these cells now second function related to odontoblast cells what these odontoblast cells form that is the second function third function related to blood vessels what do they nourish so that is the third function fourth function related to nerves sensory nerves so what do they do that is the fourth function and fifth function is related to undifferentiated mesenchymal cells when there is any caries or trauma odontoblast cell die and new dentin is formed repair is done by these cells so you have to tell me why functions related to cells blood vessels nerves which are present in the pulp so do let me know your answers in the comment section below if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep smiling keep watching keep learning and see you in the next video soon good luck for your exams till then take care bye bye